Here we have the rotor, caliper, brake pads, and one of the bolts that you can see from the top that need to be removed to take the caliper off. And there is a bolt down here that needs to be removed in order to take the caliper off. Those are slide bolts. Now if you don't already have a good amount of tools, you should have at least some kind of a handyman tool set. I already know I'm going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and get that on there. Get a good view for you. Loosen that up. Now you can use a ratchet and socket if you prefer, which I actually do. I'm only using a wrench for demonstration purposes. Take that off. Once it's loose, you should be able to finish taking the bolts out by hand. I am removing the bottom one first and then the top one. There we go. Okay, now the caliper pads are pretty close on the rotor so we need to separate those a little bit. Just like you might have seen in the other video. I would totally agree with this concept. Because it does work. Sometimes. <laughs> Giving ourselves a little bit of space there. Take the caliper, pull it off. You're not going to want the caliper's weight to hold down or to pull on the brake line hose. Uh, just for a little bit, that's not going to hurt anything, but we are going to take these rotors out to the local uh, machine shop and try to get them turned. So you want to try to either tie them up, tie the caliper up, I mean, or just rest the caliper up against the uh, CV axle or something adequate. Now, after you have all of that removed, I'm going to try to do this with one hand here. You take the rotor off and you're left with a wheel hub with studs. You can see that the rotor is only held on by the lug nuts. It's pretty commonplace. We look at the back side of our rotor. Ooh, it's got a lot of grooves. See all those shiny grooves? Those are representative of extreme rotor wear. These need to be turned or replaced. Uh, whichever one is more beneficial. I know that I can have them turn for about 15 bucks a piece and uh, new ones cost between 30 and 40 dollars a piece. So obviously I'm going to take them to try to get them turned first. There is one problem is if they are worn down too thin meaning this thickness here, the actual thickness of the rotor uh, they legally won't be able to turn them. Thin rotors are dangerous um, multiple reasons but they can't take the heat and they will stress fracture uh, so that's it I'm gonna take these rotors up after I get the other side off and uh, try to get them turned